We got our drinks. We are gonna buzz the app. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not making it home till 4 o'clock a.m. I feel like Ramadan is not passing me by. So like it got me some flowers. I'm getting married in October. Whoa. It is too cute. I stole some food from the restaurant. I love those Is that Haram? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're back, welcome back. Y'all, we on the road to 100. 100 1000 subscribers i have been working on the road to 1000 subscribers for a long time only because of my consistency but inshallah i definitely see the light i see myself being more consistent and giving y'all nice and interesting content so anyways today is officially ramadan day 10 subhanallah we have finally reached like literally one third of ramadan so let, let's do some reflection together. So, oops. One of my goals for Ramadan was to finish the Quran. I am currently on just seven and I'm supposed to be on just 10. So I'm about four just behind. I haven't read anything today, so I definitely still have time today to like read a just or a just and a half. So I'm not too mad about that. I definitely see myself finishing it. I've actually never made it this far, so I'm really, really happy for myself. So Alhamdulillah, check. Um, I also had a goal of being consistent in the gym. I've been to the gym three times so far during Ramadan, three out of 10 days, and that's okay. I'm listening to my body, and gym is not even my priority. So if I can go, I go. If I can't, I don't. Yesterday I was able to go, so I definitely went. I did a mile, and I actually broke my fast at the gym. I, I don't mind that schedule. That schedule was okay, but it's not gonna work today because I actually have a meeting at five and then i live so far from the gym so all of that stuff when you put it together it just doesn't work that easy if i if i lived closer to the gym i'd have more flexibility but i don't but that's okay definitely still active my other girl from Ramadan was to go to tarawi and alhamdulillah i haven't missed a single tarawi oh my god i'm so proud of myself and like it's not even hard like i don't think about it too much it just comes easy for me i think because i I don't know i'm intentional about it i don't know but it's just been coming easy for me so alhamdulillah i'm happy about that i don't think too much about it i just go i pray my eight rakats that's my goal eight rakats um some messages that i go to pray 20 some that i go to pray eight so it really depends on the message that i go to but i stick to my eight because that's what i can do and yeah i've been very very consistent with my tajid as well that was one of my goals i haven't missed the tajid yet but I do need to work on waking up a little early because I be rushing. Some days I wake up just 20 minutes. Like this morning I woke up like 30 minutes before Sahur. Before I got to brush my teeth, make my wudu, 20 minutes was left. So I definitely work on that so I can stop like rushing. Because I didn't get to like do the du'a I wanted to do because I also had to prep my Sahur. So my neighbor is literally throwing stuff over their thing i don't know i don't know if they know that i can see them like i see everything everyone does because my windows are always open <laughs> but um yes yeah, so also my other goal is to eat good i i, I don't know I don't know. I haven't been eating junk food, but too much rice. Too much rice. Every turn of I corn, every turn of I corn, every turn of I corn, turn rice. Sahur, rice. Iftar, rice. Like, kill it. <laughs> but, um, I've been eating out a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that one time I went to Lava Lounge, I started going, I went to a restaurant like five days in a row after that. So, yesterday I was like, nope, this is not gonna be a trend. Like, spending $30 every single dinner is, is actually very wild, and that stuff adds up. So, I'm limiting myself to just two times eat out a week. And I already went once this week. I went on Monday with my friend, and I'm also going on Saturday. So, that's my two. It's my two. Don't ask me to go out. I only got two. So, so now I'm really sitting here. I'm actually at work, a bus. I'm actually about to go take a shower and get ready for the day. I'm actually during, I'm actually at my lunch break. So, and I wanted to show y'all my skincare routine. Alhamdulillah, I get so many compliments. Well, mashallah, mashallah, sister. I get a lot of compliments about my skin and y'all, we came a long way because between last year and this year's Ramadan talk show, y'all just look at my skin. I'm gonna post a video here. Look at my skin. You can even see it through the makeup. You can see all the bumps. I had fungus bacteria. That's what I was suffering from. 
so it just messed my, my skin up so bad and now alhamdulillah i've been able to find something that takes care of the fungus bacteria so i'm about to walk y'all through it and show y'all before i was only using serums i just started adding soap and already naturally ever since i was a little i never my face is sensitive so i never even put some on my face i don't even let people touch my face either my husband be trying to touch my face and i'd be like Mm -mm, not this face over here you can't touch this but yeah even i don't like touching my face but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all before my lunch ends because i got 10 minutes let's go so these are the two soap that i use i use black soap this is i got it from dubai funny enough um global village that had like african they had different countries and africa was part of it and i went to the africa store and I believe the lady was Sudanese and she literally just put it on my hand and I was like, I need this because it's like an exfoliator. So I think it has coffee in it as well as honey. Y'all know honey is really, really good for the skin and other stuff. But this is it right here. And then I go in. Sorry, this is not black soap. I always say that. This is just a cleanser for the skin. This is the black soap that I also purchased from the same store from that lady. So with this finish, I actually don't know what I'm going to do. But it also has honey in it. And then I go in with my two serums. Y'all, I swear by these. This is what made my face clear up. These two. This is the hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide. You can find this at Ulta Beauty. And these two as well literally saved my life. I swear by these. CeraVe lotion and CeraVe face wash. I don't really use a face wash anymore since I've been using this as my face wash. But it's still here. So let's do this together because time is going. And now the Avon for Zomer just came on. So now I really got to hurry up. Okay. Literally. Low key, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sometimes I taste this. But obviously, I'm trying not to taste it what because I'm fasting, but it's sweet. That's how I know the honey's in it. So I just put this on my face, scrub, scrub, scrub. Wash it off in the shower while I'm taking my shower. And then I also put this on top of it in the shower. So I'm about to do all of that. When I get out the shower, I will show y'all the rest. Bye, guys. Okay, so I'm at the shower. Skin is looking real dry, as y'all can see. So let's go ahead and put some moisture to it. That's really what it all is. That's really what it is. So I'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid first. Then I'm gonna go in with my nice cinnamon ice. Sometimes this burns, but I feel like it's killing the bacteria. <laughs> when it burns, I be like, yes. I feel like it's doing what it needs to do when it burns. But it hasn't burned lately. It's probably because I don't have any bubbles in my face right now. So ain't nothing to kill. I don't know. I'm just making my own theory up. Usually, I like to let this dry a little bit. And when it dries, it's going to make my face hard. You know, like when you wear like a mask and your face starts to feel hard, that's what's going to happen. So, I'm going to let it sit here and dry a bit and get a little matte. And then I'm going to put my CeraVe moisturizer on top. And I'm back. It does it pretty fast. 30 seconds. See? It, it's... Uh, matted okay now i'm gonna go in with some moisturizer and that's where you're gonna see though <laughs> i feel like this does a lot and i let this dry as well i put some on my face i feel like this get matted too but i always put sunscreen on top when i'm done so when i put this on i know i'm awake <laughs> until i do my skincare i'm still asleep <laughs> Masha Allah sister. Should I wear this jilbab to the masha today? I love this jilbab. I wish I ordered more than two that time I ordered it. But it's okay. I'm going to Nigeria again this year, so I'll order it. And that is how I go from zero to hundred real quick. I hope y'all enjoyed that and I hope that was helpful. So now back to work I go. Today's plan, I'm going to my mom's house. I have a meeting. I'm going to try to go to the gym. I'm going to call my sister to see where she's doing the at. And then I'll try to go to the gym by my mom's house so that I can go to the Rawi over there. And then drive back home. Because I live like 30 minutes away. And like me driving 30 minutes at like 10.30 p.m. is a stretch for me because I'm not good at driving at night. <sighs> me? I'm not good. I'm a schedule babe. Like... 
10 something, my eyes start to shut. It's because of Ramadan. It wasn't because of Ramadan. Everybody knows. Nine, I'm sleeping. All right, y'all. I am packed and ready for the day. <laughs> the day, like I'll go anywhere. But yeah, I left my house already. It's 4.43, so I'm supposed to be going to the gym with my sister at, I believe we said we're going to be at the gym at 6. But I'm actually going to my mom's house, and she has my mama's house, so I'm going to sit here anyways. I just stopped at Whole Foods to return my packages. They see me here almost like every other week, oh my gosh. But I return my Amazon packages here. So I packed my iftar. After I'm going to have Chobani yogurt. Yeah, I'm really, really trying to make sure I'm eating good because I'm not trying to be eating bad. I was going to say I'm not trying to be eating rice, but I definitely have rice for iftar. It's actually leftover. It's nothing cute. <laughs> um, I went to a sushi spot with Ferdos on Monday, so I didn't finish my rice. So I'm going to eat it. And that's another thing. Like, during Ramadan, you be having so much leftover. Like, our house is just full of leftovers right now. And I'm like, mm -mm. I'm not cooking nothing else so this leftovers are done. I have my Celsius drink since we're going to the gym. You know. It's going to be my first time trying this flavor. And I also have a protein bar. What is it? I haven't been eating my protein. I'm going to drink my protein because I don't eat them. I have a protein bar. I can't find I can't find it, but it's the caramel pecan protein bar. So my iftar is ready. It is set. I have no excuses to get anything. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I didn't tell y'all. Where's the lighting? So I'm trying to be Zabiha. I'm trying. I'm trying. So far, so good. Right? Initially, I been started like a month ago. I was like, I'm only gonna be Zabiha. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, I'm only gonna be Zabiha in my house. Like, make sure I don't bring any type of chicken or meat home that is not Zabiha in my house. But if I go out and I just happen to eat meat or whatever, then it's okay. But now. I think I'm trying. I'm gonna try to implement like beans and beehead all around, but I'm not gonna be too strict with myself. It's just like if there's a better option, if 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 there's a good option, I'll go for that. But in my heart, I know like I have the intentions of trying, so it's, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna be mindful about it. But I'm not beating myself up about it, you know. So far, so good. There's this app um that basically you can find all the Zabiha restaurant apparently there's a chick-fil-a that is halal there's only one inside this whole city only one chick-fil-a one halal chick-fil-a so but it's far from me <sighs> so no more chick-fil-a for me but anyways guys let me tell y'all something tell me why i was driving and i saw this girl with girl scout cookies i've been looking for girl scout cookies forever i even thought they were done so i picked me up to I got me the Adventure Fools. So good, so good. Got brownie with caramel. Mm. I might have to go back. He said they selling it for the rest of this week, and I know where they live, so they might see me at their house. And I got the caramel delights. I was considering getting the mint because I always get the mint flavor every year, but after a while, it starts to taste more like toothpaste. But I like mint. And I wanted to try the peanut butter one. I think I'm going to order some more before the end of this week. I'm going to try the peanut butter one. And that's it. That's the only other flavor that I'm interested in. But anyways, guys, let's go to my mama's house. I have a meeting, actually, that I need to go to. So, let's go. Yo, why did we drive to the gym? There's so many people at this gym. Like, this gym that I go to is newly open, but I don't go to this location. But everybody lives in this area. And there's mad people there, and we were like, hmm, we don't want to go in because we're probably not going to get a machine, blah, blah, blah. So we decided to walk. I just wanted to run a mile, so I'm walking my mile right now. We're actually walking to the store. How funny. We parked all the way down there, only to be walking this way, as if we couldn't drive. I'm wearing my modest workout gear. I'm really trying to transition, so. How y'all like it? I fit is cute. Got the hoka shoes, got the Fabletics leggings, got the get fit top, fit is done. We're currently at 0 0.40 miles and we're here at Hobby Lobby. Y'all, it's all about the intentions. Oh, cubes. Let me see. It's the le lemon cubes, look. This is placed in freezer until frozen. Oh. Store cubes and freezers so they are always ready. Let's get it. So we're shopping for Malima. If y'all didn't know, my sister here owns a um, modest fashion business and she makes custom clothes for her clients. And right now she's working on eat order. She's actually like, she got a lot of orders on her hand right now. 
So she's trying to make sure all y'all orders come through in time for Eid. So fabric shopping, I know nothing about fabrics, but you know, we're here to support. <laughs> Look at this plant, like this plant is so big. Hobby Lobby is where it's at. Burlington is bugging. This is $40. The one I have in my studio right now is literally $40. And it's smaller. I want this. I have to come back because I need to go return that first. I need to make sure I can return it. Hobby like, Lobby got everything. Wedding the court, everything. And uh, they be having sales too. Look at this vase. $20. Don't and play it's with it. big. Like, yeah. I wonder, uh, you can put the plant in here. Yeah. Oh. But you're dead, but no one sees the floor in your studio. Yeah, not for the studio, but let's say for example, oh, like somebody wants to your house or something. Yeah, yeah that'd be very cute. nice. Good morning, vlog. Today is day 11 of Ramadan. It's currently 5.23 a.m. My alarm rang at 4.45 a.m. But I dragged my feet and I decided to shower so I could be ready for the day. I contemplated going to the gym at 4 a.m., but I was like, it just doesn't make no sense because I start work at 7. If I didn't start work that early, then I probably would have made it. Anyways, guys, I'm actually about to go. Um, I have some housekeeping things to do this morning. I'm just about to put some clothes in the laundry, and then I'm going to pray my tahajid, pray my shafi, and with her, and then I'm going to... I already know what I'm eating for Sahur. I'm eating oatmeal this week. I made some moin moin, so I'm going to be eating oatmeal and moin moin for Sahur. And I want to season some fish, and I'm going to air fry them later on today. I don't know. I just can't cook when I'm fasting because I need to taste the food. So that's why I be stressing myself out because I'm over here trying to, like, season everything and do everything whenever doing that small time frame that we can eat. So that's what I'm about to do. And, yeah. And we have some Quran to read today because, baby, I'm so behind. We're on just 11, and I'm still on just 7. So that's concerning. But we got it. We, we're going to finish up Quran this year. We're going to finish. Yo, one thing about working from home that they don't say is you be inside the house all day and really forgetting how outside look. It is currently 7.29. I'm actually waiting on a man that we're about to get some boba. Um, but this is my first time out and I was like, wow. Like, sorry. I just, I'm... I just be looking at my surroundings too much. But yeah, one thing they don't say, you be forgetting how outside look. Like if it wasn't for the fact that I go to the gym every single day outside of Ramadan, I that's the only reason why I go outside. Cause the side what am I else what else am I going out for? Like I go to the gym in the morning I, and by the time I go to the gym, I'm probably running on my errands. I need to run. If I need to go to, you know, the store or return anything, that's the time I complete everything. But yeah, this is my first time outside. <laughs> So today's plan, I'm actually about to go get some boba right now. I There's something about Ramadan and boba. It just goes together. So we're about to go get some boba and then we're going to go home to break our fast actually. And then we are going to go to the masjid. Um, for those in the man are coming to the masjid today, they're coming to my masjid. <laughs> Why am I calling him my masjid? <laughs> but yeah, they're coming to the masjid that I go to. And we're gonna pray Tarawi and that's it, honestly. But my friend Falak is coming tomorrow, so it's gonna be a whole weekend. We have Iftar on Saturday, and then this overnight program that we're not gonna sleep the whole night, Saturday to Sunday morning. So it's gonna be an eventful weekend, I'm excited. I'm hoping we can eat Sahur outside one of those days while she's here, cause it'll be exciting. Anyways, Amanda's here, bye! This is the famous boba spot that's been taking my money. Let's go see, you're good? Oh, you're fixing no, yourself. <laughs> we got our drinks. What did you get? I got the brown sugar boba. Funny enough, it matches your outfit. <laughs> it's cute. Hey, y'all already know taro or nothing. Yeah, we need to like mix it because that sugar be sugaring. Are you supposed to do that? I don't know. You can. I don't like mixing mine. Oh. I like to taste the sugar. Because when I drink it, that's all I taste. Do you like the sugar at the bottom? No, I want to be inside because you start drinking the sugar and then when it's, when you get to the top, then you don't taste like nothing. nothing. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm sad. My camera's about to die. But say hey to Falaka. Hey, 
can't believe this is our first time meeting each other. <laughs> like, anyway, my camera died, but <laughs> so she pulled up from Dallas. Really? I have to see what Houston was all about. And she liking it so far. You know, I'll be recruiting people here. I'm, I'm Houston's recruiter. <laughs> But I might see me here in a couple of months. So we're at a star right now. We're at Shesma Shah restaurant. She wanted some African food. So we're thinking of getting the tilapia fish. I saw her. I was like, yeah, girl, let's come over here because the fish is $12, y'all. Why did they increase the price of $15? All the prices are increasing, but nobody's job is paying more. This tilapia better be the biggest That's tilapia issue. I've seen in my life for $15. It's pretty big. It looks like this. Oh, it's a whole? Yeah, it's a whole fish. Okay. Yeah, and then it has onion, and then it comes with the side. I'm still at work, bro. The shirt is real. I'm trying to enjoy my iftar. She got work to do too, so. Unfortunately. This this is how the night is looking. <laughs> iftar. Yum. Let's get to the vlog. <laughs> this place is so hot. Hey vloggies, but a minute. My camera had died yesterday and I had to record on my phone. But we are currently on day 13 of fasting and I'm here at the gym, I'm live. <laughs> Let me show you my gym fit. I be putting so much thought in my gym fit and this is so cute. We got pink tights, red oversized t-shirt. I got my sleeves and the hookah bottoms. What y'all think of the fit? <laughs> Today is arm days for me. I feel like this camera is still blurry, but I'm just trying to hurry up because I wanted to do an introduction so I can get back to my workout because I actually started working out right So, yeah. I'm listening to my Genesis right now. Today's, today's topic is finding a slam again. And I'm about to be talking a lot because I had a lot to say. But let's get into this workout. Made it! Okay, so I'm meeting up with my gender sister. It's like 30 people coming, I'm so excited. But they said be there at seven o'clock, y'all. I'm here at 6.56, don't play with me. I'm an on-time babe, but honestly speak, I'm the one hosting it, so, well, I'm part of the people hosting, so I have to be here early. I have to make sure everything is good. Oh, we forgot the things that we bought. Oh, I'm the car. I got it. Oh, okay. So yes, yeah, so. Me and our Jenna sister, so um, what are we gonna do? We're not gonna play any games or anything. Oh, sorry, we are gonna play a game. It's like an icebreaker game, because there's a lot of people, and a lot of us actually don't know each other. Some of us know each other, but like, not know, we know of each other, but not know each other. And the whole point is, you know, creating a community for us to know each other. So I'm excited, I love meeting people. So I'm really, really happy. And we're gonna eat, so we're eating at Elite Indo Pack. I've been here like twice already, but like when I came, it wasn't buffet so they're doing buffet this time because it's ramadan so let's go i'm just so happy alhamdulillah i'm just i'm happy like people actually come and people are interested too so let's go see what's up y'all let me tell you a funny story so this is like fruit punch right it's not it's rose water the first time i tried this when i was little i thought it was fruit punch but we had like big cups tasted it bitter anyways they have iftar set up outside we're gonna go inside. Say hey to the vloggy. <laughs> We're gonna go inside. And this is Hala. Zabi Hala. You can see it there. Okay. Doing good on our house. Look at this. So cute. I need to even like record to post a reel. But y'all, y'all see it. Y'all see it. I guess I'm not playing. Oh, oh, I, get, I mean, I didn't get one. I ran out. Not everybody got one. Like, everybody got one. Is it more than 30 people? Oh man, are you ready for yours? Iftar was oh a car. Iftar was successful. I had such a good time. What do you think? I had so much fun. I met all these beautiful ladies. Inshallah, we can all meet again. Love you yeah. guys. So we're at Mission Mirror Print. That are we here? And then there's like an overnight program that starts at 12 a.m. Y'all know I need sleep, so I'm gonna try. We're supposed to go to a coffee shop afterwards to socialize until the program starts at 12:15. But let's see. I'm holding so much stuff. I stole some food from the restaurant. Is that haram? <laughs> There's guys. Let me show you the mission. It's on. We're out. Blood. Blood. Yeah, we finally made it to the post office spot. Oh, you're ready to 
here before? I come here all the time. Oh, you come all the way down here? I was down the opening. It's not down here. It's not far. From your house? Yeah. And I'm at Caliente Naja. It's like honey cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really bright. But y'all can't see it. And then I got my Yemeni. Oh. Woman that's drinking her Yemeni. What is it, Rafia? What did you get? It's my yummy tea. It has cardamom and some other stuff, but it's really yummy. This is cute. It has Arabic on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is too cute. cute. I have Amanda in the cut as well. Her and her bestie. They're currently fighting over Amanda in the bio. So. This one time I taste my bio. This one time she got it whenever we were in Dubai. I bought this bio myself. But you knew I wanted it. You knew I wanted it. You knew I wanted it. And then we have Falaka in the cut. And we have a new friend, a new sister. She's so pretty. Isn't she adored? Masha'Allah, sister. Taste test. Is this cream cheese? Yeah. Oh. I feel like the part that you took didn't have much cream cheese on it. camera is about to die I came on here to tell y'all that it is currently 3 51 I'm not making it home till 4 o'clock a.m. y'all I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow cuz I don't even know I'm gonna wake up for some four but good night guys see y'all tomorrow good morning vlog y'all today is day 14 of Ramadan today is Sunday I feel like I woke up with a hangover like I had a time last night I had so much fun it's, it was been a while and I usually don't even stay up that late. I got home at 4 a.m. And by the way, I did not wake up for Sahur. Like, it was, I knew it was impossible and I should have ate before. But my appetite, like, this whole Ramadan has really been off. Like, I don't even eat much for my fast. I don't eat much for Sahur. So I'm not even hungry right now as it is. So I pray I make it through the day because God knows. <laughs> So yeah, right now I need to get dressed. I'm going to the bridal store. I'm getting married in October. Well, I'm doing my Willem in October. And I don't have, I don't know what I want to wear. I don't know the style that I want my wedding dress to be. I kind of have an idea, but I really don't know like how I want the bottom to look. So I already did dress shopping one time. So I didn't even take y'all along with me that one time. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me this time. I'm gonna put it on this vlog. And I'm going with Mr. and Anita so we can figure out what we're gonna do so we're just gonna go to david's bridal i didn't book an appointment or anything last time i had a private session which is me and my bridesmaids two hours but i didn't do that this time i just need i know what i want i have an idea of the style i just need to see more options so i'm about to quickly get dressed because i'm supposed to be there in the next hour and then i'm gonna head out i'm ready i had to go in with a white scarf and i wear white sleeve under so obviously when i try on the dress i can try to like imagine the full look just did some skincare and that's it. I was hoping I could do makeup, but the way yesterday went down. Anyways, see y'all. We're here. Let's see what David's bridal has for us. I really hope they have plus size clothes because I just feel like they don't. How can we help you the other day, ladies? Hi, we'd like to try on some dresses. Okay, wedding gowns? Yes. All right, perfect. All right, y'all, I'm home, and Falaka got me some flowers. She says she really enjoyed her time here, just to show appreciation. They're so cute. She was like, can we go to Car Kroger's? And I'm like, yeah. And she gets her flower out. I said, you going somewhere? Because <laughs> we bought flowers for like, are you going somewhere? She's like, they're for you. I'm about to put them in a vase, and then I'm going to sleep. I'm tired, I need a nap. I literally slept for three hours. officially finished day 14 of fasting y'all subhanallah tomorrow is gonna be half of ramadan so far my ramadan is going so good this is literally my best ramadan ever like ever i feel like i am here 
I feel like Ramadan is not passing me by. But alhamdulillah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. I'm gonna be ending the vlog right here. I'm probably gonna be start vlogging again on day 16. I'm using tomorrow to edit the whole day tomorrow. I'm using to edit. I need to edit episode two and post episode two tomorrow, and then I'm gonna edit this vlog. So y'all should be seeing this vlog on Wednesday. If you enjoyed this video, ooh, this vlog was a lot. I did a lot this week. Next week is a little more chill. But a week after that, it's the last time this Ramadan, so bam, bam, all the goodies, all the goodies. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You already know it's unpopping. I'm going to see the next freaking video, period, on the Russell 1K. Bye, guys.